Uh, Roger Ferguson, uh, you know, he's 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 been loyal he's to CNBC. He's a bonus baby. I, yeah. He's he's loyal to CNBC, and I, I you know, I'm glad to oh, see him right here. He'll move in a minute. He'll he's move gonna in be, a you know, second. He's going to be leveraging this new arrangement. <laughs> He'll be on every TV network. Roger <laughs> Ferguson, what, we were just asking, uh, what you think, um, Jay Powell, or sort of how how the gang thinks about this number, and and really, uh, almost politically, you know. Political, I don't know if the question is about political palatability, but you know, how much uh, unemployment has to rise effectively in the U.S. before the Fed is satisfied? Well, uh, first, thanks and happy birthday to uh, Mr. Kernan. Oh, um, look, you. I think the way the Fed looks at this number is it's one of many numbers, uh, and the general trend has been labor markets that are still very tight. We saw that in the JOLTS number, where, in fact, the number of voluntary quits has gone up. Uh, we saw that the number of openings uh, declined only modestly. Uh, initial claims showed the same thing. So I think this number is going to be seen as part of a pattern of ongoing strength uh, in the labor market uh, demand side in particular that's going to create some trou troubles for them. Like everyone else, they're going to be looking at the wage number, uh, the last number uh, in November. Was, uh, was somewhat disappointing uh, for those who are hoping for cooling. And finally, to your last question of you know, how much unemployment is necessary, well, you know, in their most recent uh, projections, they suggested the unemployment rate by the end of this year would be somewhere, I think it was 4.6 percent, which means roughly about a million uh, unemployed people. Uh, so that's, I think, what they're projecting as being consistent with getting inflation closer to their target. So, but that, that, there's a lot of room to move between where we are right now and that number. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, one of the reasons that they are going to continue to raise rates is that they are, they know they're going to have to work to get things there. The, the de, uh, demand side of the labor market is really very, very strong, right. and that means raising rates by, I think, another 75 basis points. And some of them are talking about possibly another 100 basis points. So. Uh, I imagine you get lots of phone calls from equity investors and other people that are, that are in the market. And I, I'm just, there's so many people who have such an optimism or such a hope that somehow they're not going to do this. Um, and we've gone through these periods where the market's gone up with an expectation that they're not going to do it. And then there's sort of this realization that they are. What do you tell them? I tell them exactly why that. Think, why that do you think that uh, view even exists, if, 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 given the kind of comments that you often make? Right. Well, uh, first, I think it's the triumph of, of uh, optimism o over reality. I think the reason the review exists is that most people in markets now have not been dealing with a period of inflation where the Fed was single-mindedly focused on that part of its mandate. So I think many people in markets right now have grown up thinking, ah, if there's just a little softness in, in the market, the Fed's going to react to that because they're concerned about financial instability. And I think they're dismissing the, the change in... in in tone from the Fed that's focused on its legal mandate towards, uh, towards uh, price inflation and stability. I think the other thing that folks are missing is the Fed thinks that there will be a softening, maybe even a, a short recession, as part of the toolkit to get inflation under control. And I think most market participants uh, don't believe that the Fed is willing to, to go even to a short and shallow recession in order to do its job. So I think those are the two points of disconnect. A little bit of history, right. not understanding how the world well, has changed, you mentioned the word and stability. a little concern that and, the Fed's not going to move. I